Happy Victory Monday. And I tell you what, I can get used to saying this. I love it. Lions are a winning football team. 8-2. and two. This has been an awesome season. In today's show, we're going to get into Lions and Packers just a little bit. We'll do a breakdown for tomorrow's video. Not really breaking it all down today. We're going to get into the playoff picture right now. What is it looking at for the Detroit Lions? C.J. Gardner-Johnson, big update on him. That is the main topic of this video. We're going to discuss C.J. Gardner-Johnson and what he said in an Instagram stream. Love it. Excited to talk about it. NFC standings, the NFC North, all of that playoff picture. Let's go. The road to 50,000 starts today. We're about 1,500 away from getting that crucial stepping stone for the channel. I've been doing this for five years. If we get to 50,000 subscribers in the next week, that would be absolutely amazing. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Lions facing the Green Bay Packers on Thanksgiving Thursday, 12.30 p.m. start time for this game. Lions off a massive win, comeback versus the Chicago Bears yesterday. The Green Bay Packers, a big win at their house versus the L.A. Chargers. Lions right now are heavy favorites at 7.5, even though that the Lions kind of struggled yesterday and the Packers won. Vegas believes that the Detroit Lions are just a better football team. Total over and under is 46 points. I think those are fine numbers here. I think the Lions are going to win this game by double digits. And I know you say, Mike, you can't say that after that close game here to Chicago. I've been saying this kind of all year wrong. I think the Chicago Bears are a better football team right now than the Green Bay Packers. I think they're playing better defensively than Green Bay, and their offense is picking up a little bit more. But I do have the Lions winning. We haven't won a Thanksgiving Day game, I think, in five years. I think the Lions going to get it done on Thursday and push from 8-2 and two to 9-2 and two and secure a winning record on Thursday. Question for you, who wins the game on Thursday? L for Lions, P for Packers. Blow up the comment section, folks. This, this video here is for you. I want to see your thoughts on the game for Thursday. Massive, massive news by C.J. Gardner-Johnson himself, folks. C.J. Gardner-Johnson posted a Instagram live stream. First off, it's epic. He's going off. He's talking a lot of garbage. I love it because that's what he does. But he made a announcement in there that I'll see you in two or three weeks. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is coming back, and it's going to happen here very shortly. I've been saying it all year long. I, I feel like he was going to come back for this season, and it looks like he's going to be ready for the Vikings-Cowboys-Vikings game. That is huge for the Detroit Lions playoff push. C.J. Garner-Johnson is a player whom the Detroit Lions have missed big time due to injury. Big time. With him leaving, the Lions defense took a major fall in communication as well as versatility. C.J. Gardner-Johnson was our prized free agent at the end of free agency. He's one of the last players whom we signed, and he's one of the best safeties in 2022. He brings communication, swag, and versatility. It opens it up for other players like Brian Branch, whom you want to see all over the place. If you watch the Kansas City game, you'll see how much it opens it up. This gives a massive, gigantic, earthquaking boost to the Lions secondary that has been struggling quite a bit. With the injection of C.J. Garner-Johnson, you can now put him in the slot. You can now move him around um, at safety, and it just makes everything so much smooth. He is a turnover machine. That's what he does when he's been playing throughout his NFL career. Last year, just to remind you here, he had 61 solo tackles, a combined of 63, Eight pass defense, five tackles for loss. He was a big piece to the Philadelphia Eagles defense. He was one of the reasons why they were getting so many turnovers and their defense was playing at such a significant and high level. The return of C.J. Garner-Johnson, whether it be you know, in, in two or three weeks, the most important part about his return is he should be available for the big three-game stretch of, of Vikings, Cowboys, Vikings. 
And I think by the time we hit the Vikings away, that's the first time we play the Vikings, the Lions can win the NFC North at that time. Right now, the Detroit Lions are two and a half, two and a half games above the Minnesota Vikings. The Lions' schedule is favorable all the way till we face the Vikings. If the Lions can continue to win on Thursday, they can win in New Orleans. And when Denver comes to town, it could be the nail in the coffin versus the Vikings game. And C.J. Garner-Johnson should be available. I can't tell you how good of news this is for our football team and a significant uh, piece towards the growth of this team. We have been decimated with injuries, and we're getting healthy. And my guy, CJ, your guy, CJ, could be here soon. James Houston, maybe sometimes in December. But the Lions potentially are getting a big boost. Love it. You got to celebrate that because that's great freaking news. Question for you. Will the Lions beat the Packers? Type Y for yes if you think they win. If you think they do not win, put N for no in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Are you tired of overpaying for sports? Then you need to get game time. With killer deals, last-minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed, you can stop stressing and start getting hyped for the fun that you'll have. It is easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. Whether that's sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever, with their lowest price guaranteed, it is the game time guaranteed, which means you'll always get the best price, and if you find tickets in the same section in a row or less, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. And in the middle screenshot, by the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where your seat is, and you can move your phone left to right, and you can see the surrounding area kind of like a 3D live photo. So download Game Time, get the app, create an account, plug in Lions Chat for $20 off your very first purchase. Again, go to the Redeem Code section, plug in Lions Chat, sign up with an email. It's that simple. Terms do apply. Put in Lions Chat for $20 off. The link is going to be in the comment section and description of this video. If you're buying Lions tickets this year, make sure you're using Game Time. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Yesterday was a massive deal for the Detroit Lions and their playoff hopes. The Detroit Lions won in a massive comeback, but also important is the Minnesota Vikings lost last night resulting in the Detroit Lions going to 8-2 and, and the Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings falling to 6-5. and five. The Lions now had a two-and-a-half game lead over the Vikings. And in my opinion, I, I look, I, I watched the Vikings and I felt like it was a great story for Joshua Dobbs, and it is. You know, the, you know him to go from team to team and he, doing what he's done is amazing. And you know, shout out to him for that. But I also believe that at some point, reality is going to check in because he's not a great quarterback. And guess what? That happened, and I think the Vikings somewhat been exposed here. If you can get a decent lead over Minnesota and you force them to have to pass the football, that's where they can have some real issues here because Dobbs has problems throwing the football downrange. So the Lions, 8-2, and two, Vikings, 6-5. and five. Green Bay Packers won the game. Doesn't really affect the Detroit Lions in all honesty. At 4-6, and six, and the Chicago Bears lost the game uh, to the Detroit Lions, as we know. What is the NFC standings after Sunday? Well, big game tonight. Man, oh man, we need Kansas City Chiefs to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles lose this game. The Lions will be tied with the number one seed. Now, they still would have, the Eagles would have the tiebreaker because they would be losing to AFC. Doesn't really matter right now because there's, there's quite a bit of games left. Lions have an easy schedule, easier schedule, and the Philadelphia Eagles had a daunting schedule. So put your fingers together. We need Philadelphia to lose. San Francisco won the game 7-3. and three. They're sitting at the number three seed. The New Orleans Saints still 5-5. Five and five. Whoever wins that division is probably one and done. Dallas Cowboys won. They're, it, what's crazy about Dallas is they're 7-3. and three. They still have a chance to win their division but I still think they're going to be a wild card. Seattle Seahawks, big-time loss. Remember, Seattle has the tiebreaker over the Detroit Lions. Some of them losing is really important, and it looks like to me that they're not going to win their division. They will be a wild card team. And again, the Minnesota Vikings lost 6-5, and five, 
I feel like they're going to be a playoff team because teams after the Vikings, it's four wins. So it's weird. you got the Philadelphia Eagles, Lions, 49ers, uh, Cowboys, Seahawks, Vikings. Uh, it pretty much seems to be they're all going to the playoffs. And then you can just kind of flip around for the NFC South. So not a lot changed there, but we need the Eagles to lose tonight. Most definitely, folks. That is the biggest thing that we need. Question for you, what seed will the Detroit Lions have when the season is over? One through seven, plug in what you think the Lions are going to have. Let's go ahead and look at the Packers' schedule. When can they get eliminated here um, from the NFC North? And they can get eliminated in two weeks versus the Chiefs. If they lose to the Lions on Thursday, they lose to the Chiefs, they will be eliminated from the NFC North. So that's why I'm not putting the Packers, the, the, all the schedule on here. Because we're just going to see when they're eliminated, and they could be eliminated in two weeks. Let's continue on here and talk about the schedule for the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears could be, and I didn't make the, the thing for this here, they could be eliminated by next week. But we need them to win the game next week because they face the Vikings so go Bears next week. We need it. They played us tough. It's not a gimme. And the Minnesota Vikings best be careful because if they think they're going to roll over the Chicago Bears, they're not going to do that. The Vikings got to face the Bears. We need them to lose. The Raiders, whom is playing better right now. Bengals, they lost Joe Burrow, but they still should be a solid team. Then the Detroit Lions here. And if things go right, they could be eliminated by that Lions game. That Lions could eliminate the Green Bay Packers, or sorry, could eliminate the Minnesota Vikings uh, uh, during that game. That could be the the clinching for the Detroit Lions and the fall of the Vikings for the NFC North during that time period. So, question for you right now. Will the Lions win the NFC North? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I just want to do a quick winners from this game and losers from this game here. I got Brian Branch, big-time winner. He was all over in the backfield. He is really fast. Love what he did. Alex Anzalone, he's playing at a Pro Bowl level. He is. He's a, he just continues to be a winner this year. I hope to see him in the Pro Bowl. Well, I hope to see him get nominated for the Pro Bowl and him not playing because we're in the Super Bowl. Aiden Hutchinson, the, the strip fumble <laughs> through safety, massive winner. Clutchinson in the game. And Jamison Williams, winner. Big time catches, one to get a touchdown. Awesome. Jack Campbell, loser here. He had a rough game, missed tackles. You got to tackle. Jared Goff, I, I considered, should I put him a loser on here or not? Because he did have three interceptions, but he did come in the clutch. I ultimately did because it's not the, the game that Jared Goff would want. If You know, Jared Goff expects higher for him. So in that sense, I just put him as a loser. But I have... Absolutely no no worries that he, he'll bounce back at all. This, this is just a bad game for him. He's had so many good games. He'll bounce back. Jerry Jacobs, he didn't play so well in this game, and um, not too upset about it, but t he didn't have the best game. And the pass rush, to me, is a loser here. Besides the, the Aiden Clutchinson move, we only had one sack with Aleem the Dream McNeil. But the Lions defensive line needs to get better pass rush. Just must happen. we got to get better. We'll see what happens going forward. Folks, we're dropping videos every single day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. We're going to be live for Thursday. No One Pride podcast on Thursday. Why? Because it's Thanksgiving. We're going to do the live stream. Lions vs. Bears live watch party. With that said, folks, adios.